Normally that would be a fantastic result at Stamford Bridge, but considering we were all over Chelsea for 60 to 70 minutes of that game, it kind of hurts quite a bit. Um, it was a stupid error from two different players right at the end that caused that goal. The first one was Memphis. He had so much space. He'd just been subbed on, and all he had to do was play a simple ball into Schneidlin. Would have been one-on-one, -on -one, potentially 2-0. We fucked that up. And then for the actual goal, it was Blind who slipped. Let Costa through and, yeah, Costa equalised to make it 1-1. It was undeserved. I don't care what anyone says, all right? Chelsea might have had two 10-minute spells that were amazing, but in the end of the day, it's just how football goes sometimes and you don't get what you deserve. We did outplay them like we did last season when they beat us 1-0, but that was because of a piece of brilliance by Hazard that won them that game. But it's just a bogey team for United. It really is, and unfortunately... Even though a draw usually is amazing at Stamford Bridge, it, it's just not good enough this year because we're now, is it six points off Manchester City who are fourth? And um, effectively, that's top four realistically probably gone. If you look at the fixtures and everything else and the four teams above us, like it's going to be ridiculously hard to catch them. So the best chance of us getting Champions League next year is by winning Europa League. That's just me being brutally honest. We could get top four of course we could but realistically it's probably not gonna happen now uh we do have Sunderland at home uh, sorry away next so you know that has to be three points Arsenal have Leicester so maybe we've got chances but in this game honestly we played very very well we were compact we st well saying that we were compact in defending but we stretched the game when going forward Marcial was causing Ivanovic some real problems it was really really good Cameron Brothwick Jackson's been fantastic ever since he's been in this team and he produced some brilliant uh through balls well not through balls sorry crosses into the box and um yeah, in the first half, really, the only amazing chance we had was Martial. Cuts inside and just rocket shots it, and Courtois somehow manages to save it. Chelsea, although we were dominating, they had their fair chances of uh, good shots. They had a, an Ivanovic one well saved by De Gea. They had a few more. De Gea was unreal. Courtois was very good for um, Chelsea as well. But the goal finally came, and that was Cameron Brothwick-Jackson along the wing. Uh, crosses it in. And I think it's Rooney who uh, passes it off to Jesse Lingard and he's got so much to do. But he manages to, to kind of get the ball in control and then scissor kicks it into the top right-hand corner. Brilliant goal. And uh, yeah, we should have held on. Like I don't understand what why we were sitting so deep inviting Chelsea pressure onto us. I know we're 1-0 up, but surely keeping the ball and just remaining composed would have been better because Chelsea for the last 10 minutes were just piling on pressure and you could see the goal was coming another point I have mentioned is Kurt Zuma went off with a horrendous injury it was um self-inflicted it was a poor um well I, I don't know what you would call it he just overstretched and the landing was horrendous oh that would really hurt and yeah it's never nice to see a player going off injured so all my best wishes to Kurt Zuma hopefully he does uh, you know, come back as soon as possible. We know how it feels as United fans with show out for so long. And uh, yeah, 1-1, one, one, at the end of the day, it, it's a result that neither team wanted, but it's just the way it goes in football so far. I'll, I'll keep believing that we can maybe push into the top four, but I, I just, realistically, I don't think it's going to happen. As for Chelsea, their main focus is probably getting top 10, so... Uh, it's it's just a result that neither team wanted. Let me know your thoughts. There was also one last thing I'm going to go through. A penalty shout um, from John Terry. He shot and it hit Daly Blind's arm. And I agree with Graham Souness, a scouser. If it had been his other arm that was flailing about, then it's a penalty. But the arm where it was down by his side, what can he do there? I mean, the amount of times Terry's done that himself whilst defending and a penalty hasn't been given. I'm sorry, there's no way in hell that's a penalty. And you can call me biased or whatever, but uh, an Arsenal player in Henri said it wasn't. A Liverpool player in Souness said it wasn't. You know, no no top professional seems to think it was. So I'd, I'm not biased. It just was not a penalty. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, I suppose ah, it, it's just one of those where it's it's just a result you didn't really want.